In the sixth part today we are going to build a project with custom login and logout. We will build this new project on top of the code from the previous videos. This time we will start with the result in a browser window. After testing we will then discuss the code. I started the Spring Authorization Server the Spring Resource Server and the Spring OAuth 2 client. In this video, we will first look at the result in a browser window. Open 127.0.0.1 with port 8080. It is very important not to choose localhost. As you can see we are logged out. Click on user to log in for the first time. We will be redirected to the custom login window of the Spring Authorization Server. You can log in with either user or admin. First we choose user and get the expected result. You will now also see a logout button on the right. Now click on admin and we get an error message because user user does not have access to the admin endpoint of the Spring Resource Server. Now click logout. We are now logged out and see the start screen again. Click again on user to log in. This time we choose the admin user. We get back the expected result. Now click on admin. This time the admin link does work because we are logged in with the admin account. This was it for the test. We can now move on to Eclipse to see the code of the different parts. We start with the code of the Spring Authorization Server. First, we briefly go over the structure of the project. We have the main class the security config class, the login controller class, this is used for the custom login form, the style CSS, the login HTML, and the POM XML. We start with the POM XML file, Spring Boot Starter 3.1.0, Java version 17, Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 Authorization Server This dependency is new since Spring Boot version 3.1.0 and Spring Boot Starter Timeleaf This one is needed for the custom login form. The main class is a standard Spring Boot main class. The application YML file Server port Logging level Client ID Client secret Client authentication methods. Authorization grant types. Redirect URIS. Post logout redirect URIS. Scopes. Require authorization consent. Require proof key. The security config class has the following methods. We have two security filter chain beans. The web security customizer bean the in-memory user details manager bean, and finally the OAuth2 token customizer. To make the custom work we need a login controller, a style CSS file to format the login form, and finally the login HTML file. This is a simple form with a username, password, and login button. The second project is the Spring Resource Server. Again, we briefly go over the structure of the project. The main class. Security config class. Home controller. And the home service. The application YML. And finally the POM XML file. The POM XML file with Spring Boot Starter 3.1.0. Java version 17. Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 Resource Server and the Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency. The main class is a default Spring Boot main class. In the application YAML file, we have server port and the Spring Authorization Server issuer URI. The security config class has one method. The JWT authentication converter being used to convert access token authorities to granted authorization. The home service class has two methods. 
user and admin the both methods have a pre-authorized annotation. The last class is the home controller with the endpoint hello, user and admin. The third and final project of this video is Spring OAuth 2 Client. With the following classes. The main class. Security config. Web client config. Authorization controller. And default controller. Index HTML. And page templates HTML. The application YAML. And the Palm XML file. The Palm XML file with Spring Boot Starter version 3.1.0. Java version 17. And the dependencies. Spring Boot Starter Web. Spring Web Flux. Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 Client. Spring Boot Starter Time Leaf. Web Jars Locator Core. Bootstrap. Popper.js and jQuery. The main class is a standard Spring Boot main class. The application YML. Server port. We have a username and password, but these are not used. And provider Spring. Client ID. Client secret. Scopes. Authorization grant type. Client authorization method. Redirect URI. Issue URI. This is the Spring Authorization Server URL. And the Messages Base URI. This is the URL of the Spring Resource Server. In the Security Config class, we have the Web Security Customizer Bean. The Security Filter Chain Bean with the settings for Login and Logout. Finally, the Logout Success Handler method to configure the Logout. The Web Client Config class is to configure communication and security with the Spring Resource Server. In the Authorization Controller, we have the two endpoints for user and admin, and the Exception Handler to display the errors. In the Default Controller, we have the simple endpoint, Root, Index, and Logged Out. The index HTML file is a simple HTML file with the setup. Most HTML code is in the page templates. With the navigation. And the text of the Spring Resource Server. This was all the code for today. Thanks for continuing to follow and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.